Once upon a time, in the desolate landscapes of northern Chad, a team of intrepid scientists embarked on a journey that would rewrite the history of human evolution. It was the early 2000s, and the world was about to meet Sahelanthropus chadensis, an ancient hominid species dating back nearly 7 million years. In the Jurab Desert, in northern Chad, the air was dry, and the sun was relentless. It was a place where the boundaries of time blurred into the sands of millennia past. This desolate landscape held a secret, one that had been hidden for millions of years. A team of dedicated scientists braved the scorching heat and endless dunes. Their goal was to uncover the remains of an ancient hominid, a creature that had walked the earth at a pivotal moment in our evolutionary history. As they meticulously sifted through the sand and stone, they couldn't have known the magnitude of their discovery. Inch by inch, the ground yielded its treasures, and then it happened the first glimpse of something extraordinary. A bone fragment, nestled in the earth, hinted at the presence of a creature lost to time. Days turned into weeks as the team unearthed more fragments. A tooth here, a jawbone there, excitement grew with each find and the scientists knew they were on the brink of rewriting history. Then it happened. The crowning jewel of their discovery emerged from the earth, a skull like no other, almost perfectly preserved. This was the moment that would make headlines around the world. They named it Tumai, a word from the local Daza language, meaning hope of life. It was a fitting name for a relic that had lain dormant for so long waiting to breathe life into the story of our origins. With Tamai, the story of Sahelanthropus chadensis had begun, a story that would take us on a journey through time, challenging our understanding of where we come from and where we are headed. The discovery of this fossilized treasure was more than just a remarkable find. It was the birth of a new chapter in the story of human evolution. Michelle Burnett, a renowned paleoanthropologist, led the team that would formally introduce the world to Tumai. With careful hands and cautious hearts, they meticulously pieced together the puzzle of our ancient ancestor to a time when humans were not yet humans. But, as the story of Tumai continued to unfold, it brought with it a cloud of controversy. The scientific world was divided. Was Sahelanthropus chadensis an ancestor to both humans and chimpanzees, as some believed? Or was it an early member of the gorilla lineage, challenging established theories of human-chimpanzee common ancestry? For years, the scientific community had believed in a relatively recent divergence between humans and chimpanzees, with the last common ancestor living around six to four million years ago. This belief was rooted in genetic studies and fossil evidence. But the discovery of Sahelanthropus chadensis and other ancient hominins like Ardipithecus and Orin challenged this view. Geneticists Eilwyn Scali and Richard Durbin in 2012 turned the evolutionary clock back, suggesting that the last common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees could have lived anywhere from 14 to 7 million years ago with being the commonly accepted time frame of eight to seven million years ago. The controversy was not limited to the timing of the human-chimpanzee divergence. Some scientists proposed that Tumai was not ancestral to either humans or chimpanzees, but rather an early representative of the gorilla lineage. As the debates raged on, new pieces of the puzzle were unearthed. In 2020, an analysis of a femur raised doubts about Tamai's bipedal abilities, questioning its status as a human ancestor. But just when the controversy seemed to settle, in 2022, new fossils emerged, offering fresh support for the theory of obligate bipedalism in Sahelanthropus. Tumai's legacy remained, not as a definitive answer, but as a reminder that our understanding of our own evolution is an ongoing and ever-evolving journey through time. The existing fossils reveal a mixture of primitive and derived features, 
indicating a unique position in the evolutionary tree. Sahelanthropus anatomy, though fragmented, offered a glimpse into a world that existed approximately 7 million years ago. During the Miocene epoch, one of the most striking aspects of Sahelanthropus anatomy was its cranial features, the fossilized cranium, nicknamed Tamai, revealed a face that was far from human. It had a flatter facial structure, U-shaped tooth rows, small canines, and pronounced brow ridges. These features painted a portrait of an ancient being with a facial morphology, distinct from our own. Within the confines of Tumai's cranial vault lay a revelation, a cranial capacity estimated to be around 378 cubic centimeters. This cranial size was more in line with modern chimpanzees than with contemporary humans, representing a brain that was smaller and less complex. The implications of this smaller brain size opened doors to questions about cognitive abilities, social behavior, and the way Sahelanthropus interacted with its environment. The anatomy of Sahelanthropus hinted at a creature adapted to its unique environment. The presence of heavy brow ridges raised questions about the function of these features. Were they indicative of a species engaged in behaviors that required strong chewing muscles, or did they serve another purpose altogether? Yet, the most intriguing aspect of Sahelanthropus anatomy was the question of bipedalism. Bipedalism, or walking onto legs, is a hallmark of human evolution when Tamai was first introduced to the world, there was speculation that it might have walked upright. This speculation was rooted in the orientation of the foramen magnum, the opening in the skull where the spinal cord passes through. Researchers believed that the position of the foramen magnum suggested an upright posture, a key step in the evolution of bipedalism. However, as with any scientific revelation, the story was never straightforward. The orientation of the foramen magnum, it turned out, was not an entirely conclusive piece of evidence when it came to the question of habitual posture and the features used to classify Sahelanthropus into hominina. Based on facial comparisons were not entirely unique to this group. Estimates suggest that Sahelanthropus was likely a small hominid similar in size to modern chimpanzees. It is believed to have stood around 110 to 150 centimeters tall when assuming a bipedal posture. These estimates are subject to ongoing research and debate within the scientific community as the available fossil evidence is limited and the interpretation of its anatomy continues to evolve. Sahelanthropus chadensis remained a compelling enigma a testament to the ever-evolving nature of science, its anatomy continued to fuel discussions and investigations, challenging our understanding of human evolution and the complex interplay of features that define our lineage. As we explore the anatomy of Sahelanthropus, we find not just a fossilized ancestor but a doorway into the past, a window into the mosaic of human evolution where each piece of the puzzle raises new questions and reshapes our understanding of our shared history. As researchers continue to probe the mysteries hidden beneath the sands, Sahelanthropus stands as a testament to our unending quest to understand our place. In the intricate tapestry of evolution, this story of Sahelanthropus chadensis, from its discovery in the desert sands to the ongoing quest for knowledge, reflects the intrigue and wonder of paleoanthropology and the ever-evolving narrative of human evolution.